Yeah. Hey, Black Rain. Hey, Black Rain. Uh, lean, lean, and stick don't stop. Black Rain, skill time, cause the gun won't pop. Mass pain, stop once and your man gon' stop. Black Rain, stop twice and they all gon' flop. Tryna play for a dub, but I don't even need it. You catch on me 50, you sound conceited. I still done so bad that he think that I cheated. You said you was pro when I win, you deleted. My diamonds, they rain on me, I'm undefeated. The top of 100, I don't even read it. My rank, you won't beat it, don't make me repeat it. RGA, the squad, man, don't get them boys either. All right, man. So we're we're still doing scheme over team. Um, I've used. I uh, started from the top: Bears, Bengals, Bills, Broncos, Browns. Now I got the Bucks. Um, it's a scheme I do. Every, it's a thing I do every single year. Um, wow, 95, 94 speed. But these two guys got slot automatic and mid in elite, and then deep out elite, mid in elite, and red zone threat. Hmm. Man, I could show y'all something, right? Let's show y'all something today, right? I'm gonna utilize all four of these guys. Yeah, let me show y'all something today, right? This is great versus somebody, I mean, with a team that has like four good receivers and don't really have a good tight end. This is great to use. Um, so we'll just do it today. Why not? Um, let me see. Let me let me set my lineup up correctly. Dean and McCullum, right? So those two guys are out. I need to find my next two fastest guys that are corners and not safeties. 92 speed right here, and then 91 speed right here. Bam, now I need to find two fast safeties um, that are not super fast, like Winfield 89, and then we can go Devin White, honestly. We can go Devin White, and then um, I want to go to my safeties and put my two fastest safeties in. So like. He must be all right. all right. He's already there, so now I just need to find one guy for here, and that's the problem. Um, and then if you can't find speed, just go with somebody who's pretty good, like Carlton Davis is solid. And then the last thing we do is go to our sub linebacker. Well, not the last thing. Sub linebackers. When we're three three five, we want to find somebody good or decent speed to go right here. We we'll go with Delaney right there. Bam. And now we want to go as find our edge rushers. This edge would be Shaquille Barrett, and this edge would be Levante David. In the middle, we got Vita Vea. And then slot receiver. Um, well, third down back, white, white, and then slot receiver. Uh, let's go Godwin in the slot. Godwin in the slot. Um, yeah, because that's going to leave Palmer, excuse me, as my RPO guy. Perfect. All right, perfect. So, um, I usually wouldn't speak on this, you know what I'm saying, but it was brought to my attention uh, that I just recently got dissed. Um, what playbook is this in that I'm trying to do? I think Jags playbook. I want to say Jags playbook. It's trio offset with a tight with, with a receiver at tight end. Trio offset with the receiver at tight end. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is give you guys an example, and then I will give you guys the diss that I just recently heard about. So for an example, right? Let's say I create merch. I do create merch. You know what I'm saying? I hit up my homie Mike Williams, right? Mike Williams, uh, receiver for the uh, Chargers. My homeboy. We're in several group chats together. I can text and FaceTime him right now. He'll answer. We can talk about anything. You feel me? Been my dog since like 2013. Uh, Shrine Bowl roommate. That's how we met. Uh, Shrine Bowl is a all-star game for South Carolina. And we, it was South Carolina versus North Carolina. All-star game. Walked in. He was my roommate. We've been cool ever since. Um, all right. Let's find trio offsets. Trio offset. And then down at the bottom, you see packages. Well, Right here at the bottom, you see packages. Move over until you find uh, four hour receivers. Now you see 83 at tight end. Now he's now that's my. Now as you see Thompson right there at tight end. That's how you do that. I really don't want Mike Evans right here in the slot, but it's cool. It's cool. So if I want if I don't want Mike want Mike Evans right there, what I got to do is I got to go to coach's suggestion now. I mean not coach's suggestion, but the depth chart and then switch these two guys right there and then bam it'll be perfect 
But while you guys are here, man, hit that like button. Uh, hit that like button and then follow me on my socials. Uh, Black Rain. I don't even use TikTok really. I need to change that. But Instagram, Black Rain 4. And then my other uh, YouTube is Black Rain 4 too. But bam. So um, all right, let me find some audibles in here for this. We'll go there. And we'll go there. So let's say I hit up Mike Will. Like, yo, bro, I got this hoodie I want to make you, right? I hit him up. I hit him up. Yo, bro, I got this hoodie I want you to rock. I want to make it for you. And he like, bet, say that. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. So I make the hoodie for him and I send it to him. And he like, bro, this shit is dope. Um, this shit is tough. And I'm like, for sure. And I'd be like, yo, bro, when you post it, just tag me on Just tag me in the picture on Instagram. He like, bet. Cool. He posted. He tagged me in the. He posted me. He tagged me in the, in, in the picture on Instagram. Several pictures, him posing in it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Showing it and then showing the back of it, whatever the case it may be, you know what I'm saying? Advertising my hoodie, right? I say, appreciate you, bro. I really fuck with you for that, you know what I'm saying? My dog. Cool. Um, <laughs> people hit me up, yo, bro, that's a dope hoodie you made him, da da da. That's what's up, bro. Keep on doing your thing. And I'm like, bet. You know what I'm saying? So cool couple weeks go by whatnot i'm like hey i'm trying to go to a charger game i hit up mike yo mike you know what i'm saying i'm trying to pull up to a game can you get me tickets you know what i'm saying yo yo mike can you get me ticket to a game and mike tells me uh it's gonna have to be a little bit later bro oh he manned it up he manned it up that was smart that was smart he manned it up it's gonna have to be a little bit later bro uh later in the season i got my family already booked up for the next couple weeks Solid, solid, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Bet. Appreciate you, bro. Let me know when you can, you feel me? Let me know when I can, you know what I'm saying, pull up to a game. Let me know when you got them tickets for me. And he like, all right, bet. So, a week go by. I see they got a, a, a game. Uh, they got a home game or whatnot. I'm, Damn, I want to go to that home game. Fuck. I hit him up again. Yo, bro, Mike, you can get them tickets for me, bro. And he like... Bro, I told you, you know what I'm saying? I'm already, you know what I'm saying, booked up on tickets. I can probably get you, you know what I'm saying, in a couple weeks, bro. And I'm like, damn, all right. Get your feet down, young man. I'm like, all right, damn. I'm like, fuck. The following week, the following week come, they got a home, they got a game right in my city. I'm like, damn, I really want to go to that game. Fuck. I hit up Mike again. Yo, Mike, I can get ticket, bro. You can get me. You can get me. I, I need front row seats, bro. I need seats. You get me seats to this. You know what I'm saying? You get me tickets to the game, bro. I need tickets to the game, bro. Can you get me tickets to the game? Mike don't respond to me. Damn. The following week, I hit up Mike again. Yo, bro, I, I can get, I get them tickets. The next week, I hit up Mike. I can get tickets. Next week, I hit up Mike. I get tickets, and he just ignored me at this point. Now I feel some type of way about Mike. Now I'm finna go and diss Mike. Now I'm finna go post on my Instagram and my YouTube. Screw Mike. He ain't shit. He weird. Bro lame as fuck. He ain't give me no recognition for my hoodie. Bro could at least post in my store on there. Where they gonna buy the hoodies from. Bro lame as fuck. Is that not weird? Bro, told, bro sat there and told me. You know what I'm saying? He can get me later on in the season. You know what I'm saying? He didn't give me, he didn't tell me when exactly, but he said, I can get you later on in the season, bro. You know what I'm I got my family booked up right now on tickets. He didn't give me like, like a legit timetable, but he told me, not right now, you know what I'm saying, next couple weeks or what. So I got my family already booked up for tickets. You know what I'm saying? These are very important games. My family is on the way. How can I be mad at bro? You feel me? What what causes me to diss him? Is it because I just didn't get my way or like Alright, that's horrible. And then you wanna smack the ball down. So what is the point? You know what I'm saying what where where do I have the right to diss him? I, I sent him my hoodie, he posted my hoodie, he tagged me in the in the pictures. Bam, that's it. Now to be honest, he don't owe me no tickets. 
This man don't owe me no, you feel me? He don't owe me no fucking NFL tickets. I, I made a hoodie for him. You feel me? I made a hoodie. He, I gave him a free hoodie. He posted it. That was my, you know what I'm saying? My promotion. I got put in front of a larger crowd. His Instagram got what? Two, three hundred thousand followers. He put me in front of those followers. A couple people hit me up, told me the hoodie was dope. Now the rest, now the rest is on me. Now I gotta figure out, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't depend on Mike to, to boost me up or nothing like that. You feel me? He did his, he did what he said he was gonna do. You feel me? Now as far as the tickets, you know what I'm saying? He said he's gonna get me later in the year, but fuck that, I want the tickets now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck what he talking about. I need them tickets now. I want them tickets right now. It don't work like that, bro. Like, that shit's weird to me. Like, I would never even... That would never even cross my mind to diss somebody, like, after that. You feel me? That calls... That holds no weight to diss somebody. This is a jet sweep. Get outside. Thank you. Whenever the whenever the Wildcat man run fast as fuck, turn and run fast as fuck, it's the jet sweep. Now, if he would have, like took a little step at first and then start to run it's a fake for anybody wondering but bam here's my situation and i'm gonna start from the very very beginning right back in man 23 i get a follow right i get a follow uh from this guy i don't like to say names in my in my videos because i don't like it to be like literally personal but this is personal you know what i'm saying it's it's but i don't want it to like i don't like to like cause trouble and like back and forth and shit like that. I just, that shit just weird to me, bro. Like, at the end, it, it, it starts to be about social media. It starts to be about clout and things like that. And that's not what I'm about at all. I don't give a damn about no clout. None of that. But he hit me up back in Man 23. Yo, bro, what's good with it? I make music. Can I make you an intro? Can I make you an intro? Can I make you a intro? I said, sure. Now, mind you, before he asked me, can he make me an intro? I already have four intros. I already had four intros. So him asking to make me an intro was like, okay, let me see what this dude talking about. You feel me? I could have easily said, nah, bro, I'm good, bro. I got four already. Dead your shit. I could have easily said that. I could have easily said, I got four intros already, bro. Your shit dead. Fuck, I need your intro for. But he made the intro and I put it in rotation. Now, if you know me back at Mad 23, I just rotated all my intros. Excuse me, that's what I'm about to start doing again now. But uh, I rotated all my intros back in Madden 23. Um, even his. Now, his was one of the only ones where um, I put his information on the on the actual video, on the actual uh, on the actual intro. He asked me to make the intro for him, and I told him when he made it. I was like, "Damn, bro, this shit, this shit hard as fuck." You feel me? I was like, "Cool." He was like, yo, appreciate it. I was like, um, I said to him first, I'll put your, I'm going to tag your Instagram on the intro so people know who made and where to find you at if they need to talk to you. You feel me? He was like, bet, appreciate that. Cool. No problems. Then I was thinking about doing Rain Gang back in Madden 23. Thinking about doing Rain Gang. I posted, I said, who trying to join Rain Gang? <clears throat> And I was just trying, I was throwing some bait out there. Not even no bait, but I was trying to see, like, who would be interested in, you know what I'm saying? And not even, like, who would be interested, but, like, who do I know out of these people that got, like, pretty decent schemes or, like, who got, like, something, like, different. I don't want to do Rain Gang and everybody in Rain Gang running trips tight in, everybody running five wide, everybody running man. I'm trying to have some people here that's running some different shit, some unique things, so we can all sell our own separate ebooks, Right? So, uh, I want to say this is cover two, and he might be playing. Let me catch it. Let me hike it. Bam. Perfect. It's not cover two. It's man to man, but that's my 95 speed guy. Oh, my God. Yeah, man to man right there. Um, so, he hit me up like, yo, bro, I'm trying to run rain. I'm trying to be in rain game. Now, I do recall him, uh. I do recall playing him a while ago. I think we like, I think I beat him twice or something like that. I don't think he ever beat me. Maybe he have. I'm not exactly sure. I really don't remember if he ever beat me or not. 
really not sure. But um, that's the significance of having a, a, a wide receiver right there instead of a tight end. <laughs> tight end ain't running past him right there. But um, I do remember his scheme being hard. He runs a very, very unique under center scheme. I think it's like the uh, the West Coast playbook with the with the West Coast shit. Um, the near eye far and near eye slot and far eye slot and, and, and near far close and shit like that. Very unique. So he hit me up. I was like, cool. You know what I'm saying? I was like, bam. You know what I'm saying? So if I do do Rain Gang, I would love for you to join. Um, what you would do is create an ebook. When we create that ebook, we'll sell it. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, here's the tough thing about this. This is what I came to realize. I can't, I can't sell that ebook. Personally, if nobody's ever seen me run that, I don't run near our slot and far our slot. So me trying to sell something like that would be hard. You know what I'm saying? That would be hard for me to try to promote if nobody has ever even seen me run it. You know what I'm saying? So what I told him was, um, either how you want to do the, you know what I'm saying, the split as far as, um, how you want to do the split. He was like, well, what I want you to do is post it on your on your website, and then um, I want to do a 50-50 split on the on the money. And I was like, eh. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what I was thinking of doing was um, actually buying the ebook from you at a price that we think is fair. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at your ebook and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna I will run it and promote it my damn self. You know what I'm saying? Like like for an example like if like his scheme I was going to buy his ebook from him at a high price like maybe like 5 600 dollars I was going to buy it from him from for buying an ebook for that amount of price is high but what I was going to do is I was going to put my own little twist on it you know what I'm saying I was going to actually make the ebook myself you know what I'm saying so I was going to actually look at his ebook see what he do and things like that and then I was going to put my own little twist on it this is cover 2 I was going to put my own little twist on it and then I was going to actually sell it and then I was going to actually run the offense and show people me running it so it would sell. Now that was a risk that I was willing to take. Now if I sell the ebook for $50, right? If I sell the ebook to y'all for 50 bucks, I have to sell what? My math is not mathing right now. If I bought it for 500, I got to sell 50 of them. What's that? 10 of them, I gotta sell 10 ebooks to get my money back. I gotta sell at least 10 ebooks to make my profit from it. You feel me? He was like, nah, I ain't wanna do that. And I was like, well, I'm not interested in um, putting it on my website and we just splitting the profits 50 50. Because what comes with that is a lot. And I'm gonna tell you, and, and this is, what, this is what, what comes with it taxes. Taxes come with it. Now, I gotta treat him as if he's an employee. Of mine, you know what I'm saying. So he got, I got a, I need his tax information. I need this. I need that. He need to have a, he need a LLC so that I can pay him from my LLC to his LLC to keep him on my payroll and shit like that. That's a lot to deal with. In my mind, I'm like, all right, that's a lot. When I can just buy this from him and then I can sell it and I can do my own tax. Because more goes into it than just, hey, bro, it's an ebook. Hey, bro, let me sell it to you. Let me. More goes into it once you once you really have a business. Let me get that. Let me get that. More goes into the shit. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm looking at it from my point of view. Like it's more than just giving you 50-50 every time somebody buy the ebook. It's more than that. It's more than that. It's every time 50-50. I gotta take out taxes, or at the end of the year, I gotta, you know what I'm saying, get your tax information. And that's just, bro. When you own a business, you learn that taxes. They are not playing about these taxes when you own your own business. So I'm like. The best thing I can do for you, bro, right now is just buy it from you. And then once I buy it from you, um, once I buy it from you, you know what I'm saying? It, it's mine now. You can still sell your own ebook wherever you want to sell it at. You can still sell your ebook. This is still your ebook. But I'm going to buy it from you and I'm going to put my own little twist on it. And now this is my ebook. This is my near far slot West Coast ebook. And now you got your West Coast near far slot. And you can sell it how you want to sell yours. I'll sell my how I want to sell mine. But now I'm taking a risk 
I'm taking the risk of I'm putting five hundred dollars into it, hoping that I can make my money back. You feel me? And if I sell ten of them, then cool. You know what I'm saying? I done made my money back. So that didn't go as planned. He didn't want to sell it to me, and I didn't want to just put it on my website new fifty fifty. So it didn't work out. Guess what he did? He went and made a diss about me. He went in on his YouTube channel and dissed me and all type of shit. I never responded to it. That dude was 60 and 10. That dude was, that dude was pretty decent. 60 and 10. Solid record. Now, that diss on his channel got like a thousand views. The second most views on his channel. The first most viewed on his channel is How to Freeze Glitch in Madden 23. His first most viewed video on his channel is how to freeze glitch in Madden 23. The second most viewed is a diss towards me. You know what I'm saying? People was hitting me up about it. Yo, bro, did you see that diss? Yeah, I seen it. Did you watch it? I didn't watch it. I know exactly what happened. I don't really care what his side of the story is or what he said. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what happened. It's not for me to get on here and go back and forth with him and back and forth about it and give him the attention he's looking for and that's not what I'm here to do. You feel me? Oh, that's what he said? Oh, for sure. That's a bet. He got it. Whatever he said is true, bro. Y'all believe whatever he said. Cool. It blew over, right? Blew over. It was like two days worth of talking about people hitting me up. After that, it was done and over with. Like I expected. Bam. I'm chilling. I get a message from him on Instagram, a man 24. What's up with a man 24 intro? He asked me, can he make me a Madden 24 intro? He asked me, can he make me a Madden 24 intro? Once again, he asked me, can he make me a Madden 24 intro? I said, sure. He made the intro, sent it to me. I listened to it. I said, this is dope. He said, cool. I said, I will tag you in the intro again. I will put your Instagram in the intro and that'll let people know how to find you. He said, that's what's up, bro. Appreciate it. Intro was hard. Had some crazy low-key bars in it that was slept on or like that I didn't really get until a couple days after listening to it. I'm like, okay, this shit's hard. You feel me? Cool. Posted it. Put his IG on there so people know where to find him at. And since I've been real busy this year, I haven't really had time to incorporate my other intros. So that's really the only, only intro y'all have seen <clears throat> so far this year. Except for lately, I've been putting out my other intros. I haven't had time to chop up my clips to get clips for the other intros. The other intros got Madden 23 clips on them. I can't post that. You feel me? So I got I had to have time to, to get my Madden 24 clips together so that I can put them on my other intros. Bam. Word for word. I'm just reading it to y'all. He hit me up. Still in our messages. Let me find our messages. He hit me up. Um, I want to let me read this. He said, "Hey, bro, I'm gonna start posting on YouTube. Mind giving me a cosign, like a shout out or something to get me to get me going. Even better if we could get a game in or something. We went one and one in Madden 22. I didn't know how he beat me." We ain't match up last year, but let me know if you could do that for me, bro. It would be much appreciated. I said, yeah, we can figure something out. You feel me? Now, the reason I said that is because I don't really like doing stuff like that. You feel me? That's just me personally. I don't like doing stuff like that. Because what I've learned as far as YouTube is you don't get a buzz. Like, getting your, your channel started... You have to have something about you in the background. People like try to start off from the beginning as being a comp man player. If you have not realized, YouTube is not about comp at all. If you want to be a comp player, go play, go, go play motherfucking Clef the God. Go play Henry. Go play Dez or something like that. YouTube is about entertainment. But cool, he wanted a game in for me um, to get his channel started. I've played multiple people who have played me to try to get their channel started and it done nothing for their channel nothing nothing at all and you can go and ask form this form will tell you straight up you don't you don't get nothing from you don't gain subscribers or nothing like that okay we have a good game 
which you got 40, 50 subscribers, they see it. That's it. You have to for real. You have to for real build your shit from like the ground up as far as like you gotta have something going for you. You gotta be grind that rig leaderboard. Or you gotta be like grind that mud leaderboard. You gotta have something going. It's not just hey, let me go and play Black Rank. Let me go and play Braylon. Let me go and play T D. I'm sorry, but if you're trying to be a YouTuber or whatnot, you're not going to start like that. You know what I'm saying? But I told him, hey, we can figure something out, right? Cool. He hit me up. He said, uh, can we get a game in today? This was like a week after. He said, can we? I should not have thrown that. I should not have thrown that. Then I didn't even uh, get my guys right. Four receivers. Now I got to go in. Oh, I can't. I already paused. Fuck. <sighs> shit. All right. He remember he said, uh, "Can we get a game in today, September sixth? September sixth." He asked, "Can we get a game in today?" I said, "I'm doing scheme over team right now, doing collabs after." I don't look at me playing somebody as like I look at it as a collab now. I don't look at this. He's what is he rushing? One person. A user in the DN. I look at it as a collab, you know what I'm saying? I don't look at it as a versus, because what am I going to get for playing you? What am I gaining from playing you? I'm honestly gaining nothing. I get no respect for playing you. I get no respect for beating you. The advantage of having a, re a receiver at tight end right there is to outrun that linebacker, but damn, we got to have a good ball first. But I gain nothing from playing him. Like, what do I gain? Like, like just I'm just being honest and like looking at it from my perspective what do I gain from from beating him how do I title that on my video if it's a hell game I can say hey bro hell game down to the wire y'all will watch it it's not like he's a content creator it's not like he's a pro it's not like I mean he got a solid record he do got a solid record but I think he's ranked like 112 or uh, right outside the top 100 what do I say Playing the rank number 113th player in the world, but you know what I'm saying? What do I? You know what I'm saying? I don't. I can go and play. If, if me and you have a, a, a tough game versus me and little Timmy have a tough game, I can title those the same way. Hell game down to the wire, overtime banger. Uh, you, you feel me? Like how do I title that to to try to get more views? He made my intro and called me out to a match. That's, you feel me? That's, that's not going, that's not going to do it. If you look at my channel, all my verses videos are, I got Eli Mac, which is, brings a lot of subs and, and views to the channel. Um, I got the number two player in the world. That video, a hundred and something thousand views. I got versus the number 10 or 11 player in the world. And then they got like 20,000 views. You got to have something to that I can title it and like, you feel me? You got to have something. But um, he hit me up and said, September 6th, can we get a game in today? I said, I'm doing scheme over team right now. I'm doing collabs after. Now, scheme over team, this is my sixth team. There's 32 teams. The way I like to do my content, I like to focus on here first, then here, then here, then here. That's like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll start doing collabs after I finish the Scheme Over Team, all right? I've done all the Scheme Over Team. Now, I'll get into some verses, like some, like, uh, trash talk videos versus the fans and things like that. You feel me? That's when I start getting into my trash talk videos and things like that. I will do trash talk. People hit me up. Yo, bro, when you going to do franchise? I will be doing franchise, too. After I do scheme over team and things like that, I will do franchise. You feel me? So I told him after I get done doing scheme over team, I'll do collabs. He said, that's a bet. September 11th, he hit me up. What's good, bro? Five days later, what's good, bro? I said, what's up? He said, we can get a game in today. Maybe best of three or something. I'm 256 and 17. Pretty sure the game will be good. Didn't respond to it because I just told him. After scheme over team. You feel me? September 12th, he hit me up. Today, question mark. 
I didn't respond to it. Then he mentioned me on his story, September 12th, uh, September 12th again. I, I, I can't remember what it was. September 12th again, he hit me up. What's good, bro? Give me a game today. Give me a, a day, a time, something. I told him when. When I get done doing scheme over team. You feel me? I told him when. Can we get a good ball, bro? He hit me up September 13th, the following day. The following day. What's up with today, dog? You can't give me nothing? At this point, this shit is aggravating. At this point, this shit is aggravating. Not trying to be weird or funny or nothing, but at this point, you know what I'm saying? I done told this man when we can get a game in. Ugh. We got to get that out. September 14th. You told me this week, this week already halfway over, and you just ignore me, fam. I did not tell you this week. I did not tell you this week at all. I did not tell you this week. I said doing scheme over team right now, we can get it done after. I'll do collapse after. I did not tell you this week. September 15th. What's today? Today the 20th. September 15th. Laugh out loud. You corny, bro. Completely far from a real nigga. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Completely, you corny, bro. Completely far from a real nigga. And then guess what he went and did again? On his YouTube channel, made another diss about me. Made a, uh, somebody sent me the video. I didn't watch the whole video, but the beginning is a diss song. The, the beginning is a diss song. And then, uh, The beginning is a diss song, and then it's a 22-minute video. I didn't even li listen to it or watch the rest of it. I don't know what he said or saying, but... So, because he hit me up for a game, I didn't give him a game, or I told him a time period of when we can play, and he wanted a game before then, and now he got mad and made a diss about me. This, this, the second diss. What do, what do, you know what I'm saying? What am I supposed to? You feel me, like, <laughs> and I'm just conf I'm confused. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, but that's that's just I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know, bro. So now it's like I don't know. Just like the situation I just explained about the Mike Williams situation. It's like, I don't owe you a game. I don't really, I honestly don't owe you a Madden game. I don't owe you a game. It's not like, I don't know. It's kind of like the Mike Williams situation. He don't owe me tickets to the game. He did a service for me. The, the, the advertisement was there for it. And... <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't know if he wanted me to tag his, uh, both his YouTube's, his his Apple Music, his Spotify, his uh, LimeWire, his all that shit in my description. I don't know if that's what he wanted me to do. But people would hit me up down below in the comment section. Yo, bro, who made your intro? It's literally on my intro in IG, Instagram, with his name on it. If you need something from him or something, go hit him up. His advertisement is right there. I don't know what more you want me to do. I got this. I feel like people like, I don't know, bro. I feel like in today's world, it's like people are, are like wanting you to like put in the work for them to like, to be successful or whatnot. I don't know how to explain it. I really don't know. But what he should have done, what he can still do is, bam, he made my intro for me. I'm giving him an idea right now. He, somebody probably send this to him. I don't care if you see this video or not. I'm not here to get into arguments and debates and shit like that. But what he should do, if he feels, you know what I'm saying, that his best work is his intro music and, and things like that, or if he think his best work is playing Madden, I don't know. 
But what he should do is make an intro for AB Got Game, make an intro for Braylon Miller, make an intro for TD Barrett, make an intro for Form, and send it to him. Like, yo, bro, made you an intro. Check this out. If you like it, shout me out, tag me, or if you like it, pay me money to, to post it on your channel or whatnot. Money was never in the equation for us as far as like the the intro. Because if he would have said, yo, bro, you can buy this intro for such and such dollars, I never would have bought it. I wouldn't have paid for it because I already got three or four intros in the first place. So, I mean, that's the angle that he can take. If he feel like his intros is his best work or whatever the case may be, he can hit up, the, he can make those guys' intros in advance and send them to him. That's putting in groundwork. That's putting in groundwork. Go ahead and make the intros for those guys. And if you think your intro is your best work and you know they're going to like it, shit, make it, send it to them. Like, yo, bro, if you like it and you rock with it, tag me, bro. And now if if it's, if it's hard and if it's hot, now you got intros for damn near all the big YouTubers. You feel me? Now you got intros for all the big YouTubers. You feel me? Now, every time somebody go and watch one of the YouTubers, they got to hear you. You feel me? I feel like that's the best way to go about it. But you can't just keep on when she don't get your way. Fuck you. Screw you. You feel me? I'm going to go and diss you. Because you didn't, you, you didn't give me a Madden game. I don't owe you a Madden game, bro. But I did tell you after I get done doing Steam Over Team, I got you, bro. Whenever I start doing track talk videos and things like that, I got you, bro. We, we can lock it in, bro. Whenever I get into that, we can lock it in. I guess I guess he wanted his shit. And this is, he wanted his shit now. I need my shit now, right now. Give me my, give me my game right now. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I really I really don't know. <sighs> don't know. You can take you you can put in so many like equations and situations like that. Like somebody hit me up, yo, Rain. You doing front? You, will you join my franchise this year? Yeah, bro, I'll join it. When you think you can join it? Whenever I get done doing scheme over team, bro. Whenever I get done doing trash talk videos, I'll join your franchise, bro. Whenever I feel like I'm, oh, come on. Whenever I feel like I'm ready to do franchise, then hell yeah. If you throw a franchise, when I'll join it, bro. And then they go make a, a franchise next week and hit me up to join it. Hey, bro. I made the franchise. You ready to join? Nah, bro, not right now. I said after I get done doing trash talks and scheme over teams, I'm going to join it. Damn, bro, you ain't going to join it. Fuck you, Rain. You ain't shit, bitch-ass nigga. Nigga weird, bro. Nigga corny as hell. You ain't no real nigga. You told me you was going to join, bro. I gave you a timetable on when I was going to join it. <laughs> this shit be cra this shit really be cracking me up, though. This shit really, like... I, I for real get a kick out of this shit, though. I really do, because shit for real be funny. Shit for real be just hilarious to me. But the only reason I spoke on it is because this is the second time dissing me. It's second. When he asked to make the, the, the intro this time, Man 24, I should have said nah. I should have said nope. I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. You got it, bro. Do your thing, bro. That's what I should have said. Nope. I'm cool, bro. Keep your intro and your business over there, bro. You don't like, you ain't, you know what I'm saying? You done dissed me already. Do your thing, bro. You got it. That's what I should have said, huh? It's all good, though, man. It's all good in the hood. Why would you lob that out of fucking bounds, bro? That's crazy, Baker. But dude, for real, done made a whole diss song about your boy. <laughs> oh man I did see the comments on I did see I did see DJ comment on his uh on his uh GG I did see I did see DJ comment on his uh I didn't even watch the video I didn't watch the video but I did see it got as I'm looking at it it got 32 views in 16 hours <laughs> Oh shit. Comments that this was fire. Okay. 
Another comment, you deserve some respect, my boy. Um, uh, DJ comment, bro, watching your story, but ghosting you is crazy. But saying you finna do something did not do it is corny for sure. Um, he said I need to stop using his intro if he can't reply. That's weird as fuck. Corny as hell. I won't use it no more. Um, but the only reason I watch his story is because he tagged me in his story. He mentioned me in his story. So when he mentioned me, I looked at it. I can't even remember what it was, but when he mentioned me. Oh, it was him saying, yo, bro, give me a game. Stop being weird as fuck. Give me a game. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. So I had to. And when I looked at that story, like when I looked at it, I just clicked through the rest of them and, and that was it. Didn't watch his story. I ain't been. I don't know, bro. But yeah, the, the dismissed. He, he threw a diss and the dismissed. Yeah. The diss, the diss didn't, the diss didn't hit. But once again, man, shout out to him, man. Wish him number success. Um, he should probably take that avenue. DJ, you should hit him up and get an intro from him, bro. Maybe you can help him grow. I don't know. But that right there was with the uh, the Buccaneers, and that was definitely a GG. Hey, Brad Wayne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh.